this? I wasn't too busy over there playing. Don't even notice. I could eat this. Welcome to According to Gatsby. Today we are trying out some popular home delivery dog food brands. Some. We're trying out two. We're going to try out two home delivery dog food brands. We will be trying out Ollie and the Farmer's Dog. So with Gatsby, he is a very picky eater and it's been a long and arduous process trying to find a dog food that he tolerates and accepts and doesn't upset his tummy. I originally went down the avenue of raw feeding and to the point where I was scooping frozen chicken liver I got from my local butcher out of a bucket and even then he didn't like it and he didn't eat it. So for a while he did tolerate a mix of a Dr. Harvey's, I believe it's called Canine Health base mix, with Darwin's Naturals, which is a frozen raw delivery brand that you can get um, as a topper mixed in with that. And then suddenly, like with all of the raw foods that I was trying, he just went off it and didn't wanna eat it anymore. So we're gonna try home cooked, see how it goes. We'll be starting with Ollie, which is been getting quite a bit of buzz, <laughs> especially in the dog food community. So. Uh, that one and Farmer's Dog are, are another um, is another brand that also has been getting quite a bit of buzz. And before I decided on these two, I went ahead and looked up a lot of their ratings um, as far as users. And these are the two that kept coming up over and over again from people that their dogs really liked them. As well as on Dog Food Advisor, which kind of breaks down making sure that the dog food quality and the uh, macronutrients and everything the dogs need is in the food to begin with so both of these met those standards so we're going to give them a try i'll go through and kind of walk through the process of each brand and the how it comes and the packaging and all of that so let's get into it we will uh, go ahead and kick it off and see how he likes it all right we'll see you back here on the other side so the first one we have is ollie so i'll show you kind of the packaging process, how that came, what that looks like, the variety that they gave me. Um, so with Ollie, they had me fill out sort of a short quiz. It pretty much just said, you know, likes, dislikes um, for his ingredients, if he was allergic to anything, and his weight and his age and his activity level. So then they recommended how many calories. Uh, he needs to eat about 300 calories a day. Um, so then they send the packages and it's split so you give them half of each package one in the morning one at night and So they all come pre-packaged. There's a variety of different flavors. They give you so let's try it. Let's see what he thinks I don't know You're kind of picky You're a little picky So with the Ollie food it comes with this nice little Ollie container um, I'm gonna be honest I don't really know what it's for uh, they also give me this little scoop so I'm assuming that this is for scooping the food and then a lot of literature there's just a lot there's a lot of paper a lot of trees are involved in this process um, so you know and then there is personal instructions here that show you how much to feed and kind of the breakdown of Gatsby and his, his personalized meal plan, um, which is more than any human meal I have ever ate. Uh, yeah, so there's also a calendar. They give us a nice little flip book calendar for maybe keeping track of his food. I, because there aren't calendars on phones, I don't know. And then, a little brochure thanking us, telling us how awesome we are for spending money on our dogs. And, and this, which is a, it's a, it's a quite a spread that tells all about their food. And then this spread opens up into 
a really big spread that was kind of surprising. I didn't expect to see a bunch of faces of people with their dogs. Um, but there it is. That's a, a poster that maybe you can, you know, frame and hang in your living room of strangers with their dogs, if that's what you're into. So, yeah, that's a that's a lot. But nowhere in any of any of this this paper did they tell me what this exactly this box is for. Uh, so they come in these nice little packages with these pretty little labels on them. I tell you exactly what's in it. There was quite the variety. There is lamb with cranberries. There's chicken with carrots. Um, and then there's I think duck with blueberries. Maybe, you know, when I can't afford groceries anymore because I spent all my money on my dog's food, I can just use this as a substitute. So I put these in the fridge last night to dethaw. They're still quite frozen. They say that you can put them in the fridge and leave them for up to four days. And then after that, they expire and you kind of have to throw them out. So again, the dish is a little confusing because like it seems really big for just one of these to go in there. But then if you try to put two in, it sort of doesn't fit really nicely. And there's kind of this weird extra space still on the side. So like you can fit them if you stack them, but I'm not, yeah. So maybe you just kind of cram, cram them in here, maybe like this. I don't know. Anyway, it's there. We're trying it. So there's a little peel tab. We're going to open it up. Oh, somebody is excited. And then I think we just scoop out half of it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, fr that's frozen. Okay. Huh. Are you going to eat this frozen? That, I'm going to be honest, does not seem like a lot of food to me. But I guess that this is half. He's about 12, 13 pounds. 13 pounds when you're around the holidays. So. Um, so that just doesn't really seem like that much food. But okay, I'm actually gonna, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but I'm gonna kind of chop it up because he doesn't like to have to work too hard for his food, <laughs> clearly. Mmm, look at that. I'm gonna be honest, if some of these like raw dog foods smell weird and kind of nasty, this one doesn't really have a smell. It sort of just smells like meat. You couldn't see it because it was off camera, but I definitely just smelled this bowl of frozen meat goo. All right, my dude. Let's see what happens. Let's get my cores out of the way. That's right. We're just watching my dog eat. It's not weird. You like that? Is that nummy? Thoughts, concerns, feedback, comments. Is it weird I'm filming you while you're eating? It's kind of weird. All right, well, I'll give you your privacy and we'll check back on you in a little while. How does that sound? kind of a weird low camera angle it's not the most flattering oh well <laughs> so that is ollie let's check in on him and see how he's been doing <laughs> well it looks like the results are in uh he really liked that did you really like that are you looking for more wow that is very surprising great okay you couldn't have picked like a really cheap super cost-efficient dog food brand that you would like. All right. Well. Interesting. All right, Ollie. It's looking good. We'll see if over a few days of eating this, sometimes he eats some stuff and he'll do this for the first few meals. And then oh, they're looking for more. I'm sorry, little Fran Fran. You have your own special food. We don't want to give you a tummy ache. And then... After a couple days, he gets bored of it or doesn't like it anymore and then stops eating it. So we'll try and see the maintenance level of Ollie, see what happens. So today we will be trying the farmer's dog. I 
got it and it took a little longer than the Ali. And by a little longer, I mean it took about a week and a half longer to arrive than the Ali. I ordered them around the same time, which was a little weird. Ali came in about three days. The farmer's dog took about a week and a half. And so we actually ended up packing it. We're traveling, which is why my kitchen has changed. We're in this lovely Airbnb and not my own kitchen. So we're just a little discombobulated today, but that's okay. <laughs> And so I went ahead and packed the farmer's dog food with me and took it along. And it was actually pretty easy to travel with because it comes in these long packages that pack pretty easy in like a freezer bag or a cooler. And the only thing that I sort of have a love-hate relationship with is that they are easy to travel with because this is two days of food. So they tend to take up a little bit less space in the alley, which is individual packages for each day of food. But at the same time, you have to get two days of food that you cut out of, you know what, I'll just show you. <laughs> so with the farmer's dog, you give half a pack per day. It comes in these packs. Um, so like I said, we traveled with these and they were easier to travel because they took up less space and these are pretty easy to stack. I'm working on your breakfast. I'm working on it. Somebody was in the dirt today, I see. You in the dirt? Were you burying stuff outside in the dirt? Yeah, okay. And he's very excited. He's been loving his meals because he gets something new every day. So you cut this in half. Um, they, of course, come frozen, just like Ollie. You cut this in half and then you serve half of the half. Um, so you just serve, of course, one quarter package per meal. And while this is nice because it is contained and they tend to take up a little less space, it's kind of annoying to feed because it's a little messier and then you have a half a package wandering around for a whole day. You don't use a package per day. So you just kind of guesstimate, there's no lines or anything on here. This is the beef recipe, um, looks like that. So I'll, I'll cut it open and uh, show you how, how it gets fed. So I just kind of guesstimate on where to cut here. That looks kind of like half. And then <laughs> let's put the other half in this little tray. So I guess finally the tray works um, if it's in there <laughs> once it's cut in half. And then again, we just guesstimate. Um, so I guess we'll just cut here again. Looks about half. And then put the other in the tray. So this will be for his dinner tonight and then this will be breakfast and dinner tomorrow um yeah if your dog gets fed three times a day not really sure <laughs> there'd be a lot of tiny little chunks you'd be cutting um so this is what it looks like <laughs> i'm coming it's coming gatsu's back there whining at me uh so it kind of looks a little gray <laughs> but you can see some vegetables and different things in there uh so I don't know why for some reason, I know that he's getting the same amount of calories as he's getting with the Ollie, but for some reason this seems like less than what he got with the Ollie, maybe because they were broke into individual packages for each day rather than it seems when you first see the package, like you're gonna feed him a pretty substantial amount and then you end up cutting it into fourths, but. Yeah, doesn't seem like a ton of food, but let's see how he likes it. Are you so ready? Are you hungry? Look at your dirty little mouth. Look at that dirty little mouth and dirty little nose. Okay, it's like so far, we're enjoying it. <laughs> so this seemed like a good time to show you the process for Farmer's Dog. It is very similar to Ollie in that you have to fill out a questionnaire. They ask you ideal weight, activity level, 
if your dog is neutered, what they've been eating. Actually, it's a little more in-depth probably than the Ollie one. Some of the questions don't seem super relevant, but the process is pretty much the same. And then they show you the three recipes. They go ahead and recommend the beef, the turkey, and the chicken. And then if you click the more option, they show you that they also have pork. But that's pretty much the entire process, kind of the same exact thing. And it comes out to about the same exact cost, maybe a dollar difference. All right, so moment of truth in the time it took me to make my coffee, um, Gatsby decided that he's done eating. He's a very ADD eater. He's always out doing things like burying bones and moving toys and accessories around. So he ate most of it. There's a little bit left. This is not uncommon for him to do. Uh, it's not a completely clean bowl like I would have hoped, but it's still a lot better than previous foods that we've tried. So he'll probably come back. If he ate that much of it, he'll probably come back and finish the rest of it later today. Right now, it looks like he's just too distracted out back probably hiding a toy or something. What are you doing back here? Are you hiding something? Yeah. All right, I thought we would do a little recap after that food experiment. And we've now been feeding Ollie for about three months. I should just, I should probably check that, uh, but. I decided to go with Ollie uh, just because I really liked the format of the way it was shipped, how quickly they ship their food out and their options. Um, you can adjust how frequently and how much you get each time they ship it to you, which is really nice when you have a tiny freezer like I do. And he really seems to like it. He liked the farmer's dog as well. But for me, as far as convenience goes and feeding, I really liked that the Ollie comes in these little one a day packages and I just split it in half and feed it and for the same price. So to me, that just seemed like an easier way to go. I also liked the variety. They had a little more variety in their recipes. So I think it's really good, just personally um, healthy to feed a variety of different things um, to kind of give him that little spice of life. And so I decided to go with the chicken with carrots and beef, and sweet potato is what that looks like. They're really cold. And the turkey with blueberries, and then the lamb and cranberries. So, oh yeah, do you see? I got. To, why? Why do I have your food out here? <laughs> it's, it's a weird place to to put it. <laughs> you already got fed today, so you don't you don't really need. Do you smell it? Oh, does it smell pretty good? <laughs> It's frozen, you don't want that. So I would say that either brand really is a good pick. You can't you can't really go wrong. Uh, it's got a lot of really good ingredients in it. I do know that on the Dog Food Advisor or Dog Food Review website, which I always like to check different foods with before I feed them because they have a really good breakdown of each recipe and the different nutrients that are in each and then a score for each one on how healthy it is. Um, I will link that in the description below. Uh, that Ollie does rate slightly better um, according to them and kind of consistently across all the recipes has a really good quality rating. So I do like that, um, but really either way, you can't go wrong. But for me, Ollie wins. <laughs> what am I doing with this? just because of the convenience, really. Um, I, I like the way that it is to feed. I like the fact that they included everything I needed. Uh, you can tell they really thought through and I like supporting a company that thinks through how the user is going to use the product and making it easier for the user to use the product in every way. The fact they include a little plastic dish and a, a little, <laughs> little fork um, to spoon it out with, which is extra uh, thoughtful touches and I did communicate with the customer service and they were super responsive and followed up uh, just to see about adjusting 
when his subscription started since I was trying the different brands. So I would give them a thumbs up on that route. And yeah, uh, I might try some different <laughs> brands. He's trying to like these. <laughs> some different brands of dog food in the future, uh, especially since he tends to love some dog food for a while and then for no apparent reason will just go off it. Uh, so <laughs> he just gets bored. I don't know. So I might uh, follow up with some more. If you have any specific brands that you would like me to try, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'm happy to make uh, another video using my uh, dog as a guinea pig. And, uh, feel free, I will have a link down below so that you can get a discount on Ollie. I'm not sponsored by them, but you know, it always helps to just get a discount. Uh, so <laughs> if you guys wanna try them without having to invest a lot, uh, you can go ahead and get a free box of food uh, using that link below. So, all right, that's it. We're all done. Time to go play. I will say that the uh, switch over between the different brands of food, uh, a lot of times when you switch to dogs foods, it can be super hard on their stomach, which is something I definitely wanted to avoid. Um, so I did feel pretty confident about switching between these two because the ingredients are pretty similar and they're made in the same way. They're, they're both cooked. Um, foods that have a lot of the same ingredients so uh, less of a trauma to the system to switch dog foods and I did notice that he was pretty consistent his stool was pretty consistent we didn't have any um, chickness like that and he has I mean he always has a lot of energy uh, but he has a lot of energy <laughs> so I don't know maybe I should feed him not this food because he has been extremely high energy um, recently and I'm, I'm not sure if it's the food or or what's going on but uh, yeah definitely has enough fuel in the tank and I have a feeling food has something to do with it but it was good to see that there <laughs> wasn't any uh, super loose stools no sickness switching between the the two different foods uh, which is always good to see and is kind of reassuring about the ingredients that they say is in a product um, being what it is and in the format that they say it is so All right, uh, I gotta go get him out because he, he has not been out for his walk today and that needs to happen. So I Gotta go do it. I gotta do it. It's really cold outside, but I gotta it's just you know Yeah, it's great All y'all that live in a warm climate with dogs. You have no clue. It's honestly It's it's, it's, just, it's just so Like, you know when you have to put on, like, 12 layers? I feel like the Michelin man, just to go out and walk my dog. And, I, you know, you can't you can't move. And it's, it's, just, it's miserable. It's, nobody enjoys it. It's miserable. Nobody likes it. It's not, a, it's not a fun experience. Well, he likes it, you know, and that's why you do it. I'm sitting there. I can't move my arms, and I'm all bundled up. But he's running around sticking his face in the snow. So... You know, go figure. I guess as long as the dog is happy. But for the people, it's so much easier. It's so much easier if a dog in a warmer climate. I should probably just have cats, honestly. Anyone that lives in these temperatures, just indoor animals. 